Hey guys, this is Josh with Icky Concepts, and today we've got our 2023 F250 in the shop for a full Molly kit install. So these are the tools that you're gonna need for this install. We've got a 23 64th drill bit. You may or may not want a 7 16th wrench. We'll show you why in a little bit. Then you're gonna need a little Allen 3 8 Ugga Dugga nuts, whatever, what do you call them? <laughs> what do you call these? <laughs> Oh, she. <laughs> and you're gonna need a 5.30 seconds hex. A rivet install tool. This is super good. You can get them at Home Depot, Harbor Freight, Amazon. This is what comes in your kit to install your rivet nuts. It can be used. We've done installs with it before, but definitely recommend getting one of these if you want. And this is the hardware kit that's gonna come with your panels. So usually I use a spring-loaded punch to mark the holes after getting it level. I forgot mine today, so I'm using the smallest drill bit in my index. For the spacing on these in the bottom corner of the panels, it's usually about a finger's width. It'll fit. <laughs> That's usually how I get it centered. You guys can measure side to side, just whatever you can to get it centered and level. And make sure it's on level ground. The truck's on level ground, first of all. And if you don't like drilling into your truck, you might want to stop the video now. All I'm doing right now is marking all the holes, then we're gonna pull the panels out of the truck and then drill the right size holes for the rivet nuts and install the rivet nuts. So now that we've pre-drilled or pre-marked all of these holes that are getting rivet nuts, we're gonna slowly work our way up to this 2364 size to install rivet nuts. The only place we're not doing that is on these bedrail flanges. Today, we're actually just gonna be doing a through hole and a nylock nut on the back. The nylocks will be included in your bedside hardware. One thing you do want to be careful of with these boards, these aluminum beds, if you're not careful installing these, you can pull the rivet nut through the truck bed. Once they're installed and in, they're fine, but if you try too hard, you can pull through the truck bed and then you have a problem. So now that we've got all these rivet nuts installed, we're gonna bolt the panel up. Hey guys, this is Josh with Icky Concepts. This is the first video of the build series of this truck. This is the Icky Concepts 2023 Ford F-250. It just came from Silver State Off-Road yesterday. Got an install of a Carly four and a half inch pin top kit. That's two and a half inch Kings, straight from CJC Off-Road. Method 703s, 17 inch, and 37, 13, 5, 17 Toyo Open Country MTs. This truck is also sporting our 2019 to current full bed molly kit. We just finished the install. We're gonna start getting some stuff on it. 